Hey everyone, welcome to the Alba Method. So today's flow, we're going to be focusing on the upper body and the core. We're gonna be working into some heart openers and a few back bends, but we're gonna start with some chest strengthening exercises in order to open up the chest a little bit more effectively. Today, you're just gonna need your body and your mat. When you're ready, I'll meet you there. Okay, today we're gonna to start seated. So go ahead and sit facing the front of your space. We're gonna start with the feet planted about hip width distance apart with the hands on the knees. And just pause here. Bringing the ears in line with the shoulders. You can take a few shoulder circles and then start to slide those shoulder blades down the back and just gently rest the hands on the knees. The gaze is forward. And just find a couple breaths here. Notice how the body feels. We find, wanna to try to find a nice neutral spine here. So avoid rounding through the shoulders. And from here, we're gonna find a little bit of a lift through the chest. So we're gonna use the hands on the knees as leverage, lifting the heart, lifting the gaze, feeling the shoulder blades, the tips of the shoulder blades pull together. And then we're gonna find a little cat of sorts. So using again, the hands on the knees, we're gonna really pull the chest back, really round through the spine, tuck your chin towards your chest, even lean back. And then inhale, start to shift forward, lifting the chest. You can feel the hip bones moving, looking all the way up. And then exhale, pulling the chest in, really leaning back, using those hands on the knees. Let's do that a couple more times, nice and slow, staying rooted through the feet, starting to get the whole spine involved. Exhale, pulling back. Beautiful, one more inhale. Taking the gaze with you. And exhale, finishing it out. Good, so find a nice neutral position here. And we're gonna take our hands off the knees and reach the arms forward and find a little lift through the chest and feel those hip flexors start to turn on. And we're gonna start to point the toes, so just bring kind of the balls of the feet on the mat. And we're gonna reach forward and then taking that right arm up, we're gonna take it back behind us, just tapping the corner outside the mat and coming back to center, taking the gaze with you, taking that left side up and back, tapping that outer edge of the mat and coming back to center, reaching forward again to the right, starting to warm up that core and to the left. Good, keeping that nice neutral spine with the chest lifted, the ears in line with the shoulders, the whole body gets involved. Good, one more each side. And left side, coming back to center, nice and slow. Pause here, hands come to the knees, inhale, lift the chest, feel the shoulder blades slide together. And then exhale, pulling the shoulder blades away from each other, tuck the chin, find that reset, find a nice neutral spine, pause. Good, from here, bringing those hands to heart, pressing the palms into one another, bringing the elbows in line with each other, and just shift back. Here, we're gonna bring the feet together, and we're gonna come into this modified boat position. And you'll feel that shaking and that wobbling. Try to find that balance with the upper thighs pulling to the low belly. Just lift the heart, just pause, feel that engagement. And then release the feet, release the hands to the knees. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, pull back. Good, finding that neutral spine. Second set, hands come to heart. Bringing those knees in, pointing the toes, come into that modified boat. Now we're gonna take that right elbow to the left knee, find a little twist. Coming back to center, left elbow, right knee. Good, coming back to center, alternating side to side. Keeping the belly in, moving slow. Keeping that nice neutral spine, good. Final four. Keep breathing, last three, side to side. Last two. And last one, each side, finish it out. And then release the feet, hands to the knees. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, pull back. Good, come to that neutral position and pause here. Good, go ahead and take the feet together and the knees apart. Again, using the hands on the ankles or the shins as leverage. Take a big inhale, lifting the heart, and then as you exhale, start to fold over those legs. Pressing the knees down. And then inhale, lifting the chest. And exhale, just stretch. Let the head be nice and heavy. Just pause. Good. 
Go ahead from here, go ahead and sit up. We're gonna plant those feet once again, this time taking the hands behind us. Fingertips are gonna face out. You want the hands to be a little bit wider than your hips. And we're gonna start with the fingertips facing about 11 and one o'clock, so facing slightly out. And we wanna set up those feet right in line with the hips. We're gonna start to hover those hips right above the mat, so finding this space, and then you may need to take your hands a little bit wider. The goal is to start to bring those hips through those arms as we start to create these shapes. So you're gonna to have to make those little adjustments for your body. Go ahead and start to root down through the feet. As you inhale, start to bring your hip bones in line with your knees. Bringing the ears in line with the shoulders. Feel those shoulders roll back. Feel the triceps get involved, pause. As you exhale, you're gonna release the hips. You're gonna flex those feet. Start to pull your hips through your arms. Press your heels into the ground. Push the earth away. Feel that chest get involved. Good. Again, you're gonna slide those hips through the arms. Plant the feet. Lift up. Exhale. Start to shift those hips all the way back to your space. Good. Two more times. Nice and slow with the arms. Exhale, pulling the hips through, pressing through the heels of the hands. And last one, plant those feet, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, shifting back, pause, feel that rounding, shoulders move forward, and then gently release that. Good, go ahead and shake out those wrists, roll them out in one direction, and then the other. And then we're gonna take the soles of the feet together once again, moving those hips back, hands to the ankles as leverage, and just roll those shoulders out. Just feel the difference. Good, and then take the tops of the hands together, the tops of the wrists together, those shoulders move in. You're just gonna reach forward, pressing the palms together, and then roll the palms to the sky. Pinkies come together, palms to the sky. Shoulders roll down, again, rolling through, tops of the hands, extending the fingertips, press the tops of the wrists together. And then opening those hands. You should feel that all the way up into the upper back and into those upper shoulders. Good, so do that a couple times, nice and slow, just noticing what you feel in your body. Good, and on that last one, just opening those palms. Good, and then release that and come into a tabletop position, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. Good. So I'm gonna turn around and face the other side so you can see me, but you can stay facing forward. We're gonna start on this right side. So setting up through this tabletop, you're gonna take that right hand, you're gonna bring it in line with your shoulder and the palm is gonna face down. Good, from here you're gonna to start to roll that shoulder in, flip the palm and then you're gonna look over your left shoulder as you bring that right shoulder down to the ground. Take your right ear to the ground. And then you're gonna press through that left hand, bring that right hand back in line with the shoulder, and now we're gonna take it through for a thread the needle, taking that right shoulder to the mat, reaching through that left side, pause. Inhale, push through that left hand, coming back out. Roll that shoulder in, flip the palm, bend the elbow. Look to your left as you press that shoulder into the ground. Good, coming back to center and thread the needle. Good, let's do that one more time, taking it out in line with the shoulder. Roll the shoulder in, take it over to the left and then coming back up and roll that shoulder through. Beautiful, pause here and then coming back to center. I'll flip back around and we'll try that left side. Good, take that left arm out to the side. Palm is down, start to look over your right shoulder as you bring that shoulder down. And then pressing through that right hand, lift back up, we thread the needle, taking it through. Good, again, take that hand in line with the shoulder, flip the palm, look to your right as you bring that shoulder down with the palm up. And then pressing back up, thread the needle, take it through. Good, again, take it in out. Roll it down. Good. Bringing it back up and thread that needle. Pause. Just notice what you feel in that left shoulder. And then we'll release that. Coming back to a nice neutral position, tabletop position. Take around a cat and cow to feel that difference. And just pause here. Good. So from here, we're going to come all the way down to our belly. 
And I want you to start by bringing the arms down by your sides with the palms down so that those shoulders roll onto the mat. And I'm keeping my forehead lifted just so you can hear me, but if you'd like, you can bring your forehead down to the mat. So the rule is you have to keep your hands glued to the mat. So we're just going to lift that right foot. So pressing through the top of your left foot, point your right toes back, lift the leg. Keep pressing through the shoulders and then switch, pointing the left toes back, keeping the shoulders and the hands on the mat. The upper body doesn't move. We want to press the shoulders into the ground. Good, as we point the toes back, notice what's happening. Good, one more each side. Getting into that low back here. And then from here, we're gonna lift our chest, but the hands are gonna stay glued as if you were trying to drag yourself forward with your hands. Slide those shoulder blades onto the back, lift up. And then exhale, roll the shoulders down, glue those shoulders onto the mat. Good, so it's not a huge movement, but we should feel the entire arm moving. So inhale, start to roll those shoulders back, slide the shoulder blades onto the back, get the backs of the arms involved. Keep pressing your hands down and back, and then exhale, glue those shoulders into the mat, press. Good, two more, inhale, keeping the legs strong, keeping the glutes strong, and exhale. Good, one more. And exhale. Beautiful work. Take those hands out to the sides and tent your fingertips. Just lift the chest. Take your feet nice and wide, lifting the heart. And exhale, just slowly release. Bend those elbows. Two more. Peeling the chest off the mat, lifting up. And exhale, slowly lower. Just letting it go, letting the body move. Inhale, lifting up one last time. And exhale, pressing down. Good. Go ahead and press back to your child's pose. Let that go. Just feeling that different hips to heels. Good, so from here, coming back to a tabletop. We're gonna set up for some of these push-up variations. So we're gonna walk the knees back a little, creating a little bit of a longer tabletop shape. Hands are gonna come right underneath those shoulders. And then lifting up through the chest ever so slightly, we're gonna come into this modified chaturanga. So I'm staying on my knees so I can execute the shape prop properly and safely. So I'm gonna come halfway down, bring those shoulders in line with the elbows, keep my gaze forward rather than looking down, and then slowly press back up. Good, so coming halfway down, press through the palms, resist gravity, and then pressing back up. Let's find two more. Just waking up the backs of the arms, the backs of the shoulders. One more. And come back to center. Good, taking your hips to your heels and your forehead down to the mat. Just notice that difference. Good, coming back to center. You are more than welcome to do these off your knees too. I'm still working on my upper body strength, so that's why I'm staying on the knees. So now we're gonna take those hands wide, coming into a more traditional push-up position with the hands slightly out. And again, we wanna lean forward into those hands, allowing the hips to melt towards the ground. So we stay in this nice neutral position. Here, keeping the hands wide, elbows go out as we come down and slowly press back up using the core. Good, make those little adjustments and then do it again, keeping the gaze forward and slowly press back up. Good, again, coming halfway down and press back up. My arms are shaking already, let's do three more. And press, good, two more. And press, good, one more. And press here, shift back, stretch it out, bring the forehead towards the mat, pause for a breath. And then we'll take the hands close together. So we're gonna make this diamond shape with the hands of the triangle shape. And we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna shift forward. So as I shift forward, notice how my hips go towards the ground, but I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and not let my belly disengage. So the hands are a little bit close together. Thumbs not touching quite yet. And then we're gonna bend those elbows, coming halfway down. Press up, notice the difference between the hand placement again. Rest back up, those elbows hug onto the body. Keep your gaze forward. Make those little adjustments for yourself. Good, three more. Good, two more. And last one. 
Beautiful work here. Take the hands wide. We're going to keep those hips over the knees. You can tent the fingertips coming into this puppy pose shape. So really stretching out through the heart space, through the chest. Just breathe. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release that. We'll come in to our first downward facing dog. Just shake that out, set it up. And just take a moment to explore it. Pressing through the hands, lifting and lowering the heels, whatever feels good here. Good, and from here, start to lift the heels, start to roll forward to that plank. Pressing through the hands, hips in line with the shoulders, and then shifting back. Good, inhale, shift forward. Taking your time. And exhale, shift back using the full breath. Good, one more. And exhale. Good, from here, go ahead and bend those knees. Step forward towards the top of your space. Coming into a halfway lift and letting that bring you up to a standing position. Good, just go ahead and roll out those shoulders and come standing vertical here. We're going to start with the hands together at the heart. So pause, roll those shoulders down and back. Good. Good. So from here, start to lift the elbows, pressing the fingertips together, spreading the fingertips wide, spin the fingertips away from you, and then spin the fingertips towards you. And just notice that activation in the chest. Create that friction. Good, and then just point those fingertips out. You're gonna extend those arms, start to reach up. Good, shrugging the shoulders up to the ears and then bring those arms back out in front of you. Move the shoulder plates away, just like we did in the beginning of class. Round through the shoulders, drop the chin. Inhale, lift the chest, biceps by the ears, moving the arms back, and then exhale, rounding through the heart. Reach forward with those fingertips, two more. Try to get those ears in front of the biceps, and then exhale. One more time. Elevating those shoulders, moving the scapula, and then moving the shoulder blades away from each other. Go ahead and release that, and shake that out. Notice the difference. Beautiful. So pulling the belly in, we're going to keep that chest nice and pulled in, taking the hands behind the back, and interlace those fingers. Heels of the hands don't have to touch, but we don't want to compensate by letting the chest get away from us. We want to pull the chest in, pull the belly in, and using those shoulders and those arm muscles to extend the arms. And again, the heels of the hands don't have to touch here. Just pause. Notice what you feel. Maybe we lift the head a little. And then go ahead and release that. And we'll let that take us into a forward fold and into ragdoll. So interlacing those arms, maybe bending the knees if that feels good. Just pause here. Let the head be nice and heavy. Releasing the neck and shoulders, letting go of tension. Good. And then releasing those hands, take a halfway lift and plant your palms. Step back to your plank. Good. Coming halfway down and then inhale start to lift up upward facing dog move those shoulders exhale pull back downward facing dog notice the strength we've created in the arms good from here shift forward to a plank position coming back all the way to your belly taking the feet wide take the hands wide right onto the fingertips go ahead and lift the chest here Inhale, lifting up, finding that curl through the spine, and exhale, release that. Good. One more time. Inhale, lifting up, and exhale. Good. Inhale, squeeze the glutes, and exhale. Good. Taking those arms out in front of you, and pressing through the palms as you bring your forehead down to the mat. Press through the tops of the feet. And then everything's going to lift up, pointing the toes back, lift those arms, start to bend the elbows and pull the shoulder blades onto the back and extend out. Good. Again, elbows onto the back and extend out. Good. Four more. Lifting the chest, pulling those shoulder blades back and extend. Three more. Good. Warming up the entire core body. Last two. Good. Last one. 
Go ahead, release that. Hands come underneath you. Reset. Make your way back to your downward facing dog and pause. Notice the difference. Good. Bending the knees. Look forward. Stepping forward towards the top of your space. Take a halfway lift. Let that bring you up. This time, sweep those arms out and up to Tadasana. Interlace those fingers and press your palms to the sky. Good. Bringing those arms out in front of you. Just bring your chin down towards your chest and then inhale, lifting those arms. Good. One more. And then lifting those arms, take a side body stretch to the right. Again, just warming up the body. And over to the left. Good, coming back to center, taking those hands behind your back. Interlace the fingers, rolling the shoulder blades onto the back. Lift the heart, pull the belly in. And exhale, let that bring you all the way down. Finding ragdoll once again, just interlace those arms. Let it go for just a moment. And then when you're ready, release those hands, find your halfway lift, reset, get strong, and then plant those palms. Step back, take your vinyasa coming halfway down. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, pulling back, pause here. Good, from here, shifting forward to a plank, we're gonna take it over to the right side. Start to take that left foot to the outside of the mat, pressing through the ball of the foot. Start to create that wild thing shape or a variation of it. Reaching overhead and then bring your hand right to your heart space. Good. Reach back up over your chest and then spinning back around. Coming back to center. Let's take it to the other side. Rolling to the left. Find your side plank. And then get light through that right foot. Start to press through the ball of the foot as you open up, rotating through that left arm stretch. Good. Coming back through to center. Find your downward facing dog. Good. Again, rolling to the right. Take it nice and slow, planting the ball of that left foot. Squeeze your glutes as you reach up. And then coming back around with the gaze, taking it over to the left. Set up your side plank first and then planting the ball of that foot. Pick it up. Good. Coming back to center, coming back into your downward facing dog pause. Good. From here, coming down to the knees and setting up that wide push-up position. Shifting forward with the hips, take the shoulders forward and come halfway down. Good. Second set, pressing up. Four more. Feel that chest get strong. Last three. Good. Last two. And last one. Beautiful work, bringing those hands close together. Spin the fingertips in, making that triangle shape, shifting forward. Good, and coming halfway down, pressing up. Good, four more. Keeping the gaze forward, keeping the body strong. Three, good, last two. And last one. Good, pressing up, take it back into downward facing dog as you're ready, shake it out, stretch out those arms, beautiful work. Good, from here, reach that right leg up. Bending the knee, step through to your lunge and pause and then come on up to a high lunge, reaching those arms up overhead. Legs are strong, go ahead and take those hands behind your back and interlace the fingers, rolling those shoulders onto the back, find a chest expansion here. Lunging deep into that right knee. And then inhale, release that. Just open up into that warrior two pause. Bring your hands to heart, lunge into that right knee. And then straighten that right leg as you reach out with those arms. Good, do that again, bending the knee, hands to heart. And then extending those arms out. Good, again. And extending those arms out. Good, one more time, bending into that right knee. Extending those arms out. Now shifting forward. Take that right hand right below the right knee. Start to take that left arm up, finding this triangle variation. Hand doesn't have to touch the ground. Reach up. And then from here, reverse warrior. Bend that right knee. Reach up. Reach back. And we rotate all the way down, picking up that back heel. Step back. Take your vinyasa. Feel that strength. And pull back. Good, left leg to the sky, inhale. 
Step through to your lunge and pause. And then coming on up to that high lunge, take the hands behind your back. Staying heavy in those legs, rolling those shoulders onto the back. Find this chest, chest expansion. Keep the belly strong. And then release that. Let that bring you into warrior two. Pause. Lunging into that left knee and then straighten that leg. Hands come to heart. Bending into that knee, extend the arms. Again, just moving the entire body together, keeping that attention, keeping that awareness. Good, back to warrior two. Again, hands to heart. And back to warrior two. Good, hands to heart. And now create that triangle shape, taking that left hand right below the shin, right below the knee. Maybe rotating that gaze up, maybe taking the gaze down. Protecting that front leg. And then reverse warrior, moving the whole body together. Big inhale. Exhale, rotate everything down, taking your vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog, taking it up for upward facing dog and pulling up and back. Downward facing dog, take a breath in and let it go. Good, right leg reaches to the sky, inhale. Step forward, exhale to your lunge, inhale, come on up. Legs stay nice and strong, take those hands behind the back, sliding the shoulder blades onto the back, lift the chest. Good, inhale, arms up. And exhale, warrior two. Good, bringing those palms to touch, straighten that leg. And then bending that knee, warrior two. Good, hands to heart. Now create Trikonasana, triangle pose, hand to the shin, straighten that leg, reach. From here, taking a half bind, just take that hand to the small of your back, roll that left shoulder back. Keeping your gaze up, start to rotate your gaze down. Taking that chin towards your right shoulder and then do that again. Rotate the gaze up and rotate the gaze down. Good, one more time. Stay nice and mindful. And then everything releases. Find that reverse warrior, big inhale. And exhale, taking it all the way down. Step back, come halfway down, feel it. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog, pause. Left leg reaches to the sky. Step through to your lunge. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, take the hands behind the back, shoulder blades onto the back, lift the chest. And really sat coming into warrior two, pause. Good, hands to heart once. And back to warrior two. Hands to heart, start to create Trikonasana together. And then when you're ready, wrapping that right arm around the small of your back, palm is open, roll that shoulder blade down. And then start to work with the gaze, taking the gaze down towards your left toe, your left shoulder, and then rotate that gaze up. Good, nice and slow. Just finding some release through the neck, through that upper back. Good, going where you can go one more time. Moving mindfully. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release all that inhale, taking that reverse warrior, lunging deep. And exhale, taking it all the way down. We meet in our downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, just pause. Beautiful work. Good, let's float together again. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, pull it through, keeping the body warm. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take the hands behind the back. Take that chest expansion. Now pause, start to shift forward. And maybe we start to slide that left toe forward as we find this airplane variation with the hands behind the back. Find your balance, and then everything releases together. Find that control into your warrior two pause. Putting everything together, hands to heart, straighten that right leg, and bend the knee. Good, listen for the change. We're gonna come with that elbow to the knee. Take that left arm up. We're gonna take this half bind once again. And then if you'd like, you can take a full bind by sliding that right shoulder underneath and interlacing the fingers, your call. 
Good. Our release is trikonasana. So as you're ready, find that trikonasana shape. And then we'll do that same thing. Rotate that arm behind you. Take the gaze down. Find a few rotations through the chin. Noticing what you feel. Noticing the difference. Good. One more. And look down at that right big toe. Dismantle everything. Reverse warrior. Inhale. And exhale. Take it down. <laughs> Setting it up. Feel that strength. Good. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Make that smooth transition. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Pause. Left leg to the sky. Step through to your lunge. Pause. Good. Inhale. Come on up. Take those hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, set it up first, and then shifting forward, start to take those right toes with you. Take it into that airplane variation. Sometimes it's not always smooth and graceful, that's okay. Good, feel that lift, and then everything releases together into that warrior two. Good, landing leg, and then hands come to heart as you oh, straighten that left leg. And then warrior two, we're gonna take that into extended side angle first. Good, elbow to knee, and then wrapping that arm. You can take a bind here if you'd like, your call. Pressing that shoulder and knee into one another, rolling that top shoulder open, and then wherever you are, start to release into that trikonasana shape. Taking the gaze down, and taking the gaze up. Again, finding that rotation down. Being mindful, taking the gaze up a couple more. Feel that in the neck. Last one. Good. When you're ready, start to dismantle. Finding that reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, take it all the way down into your vinyasa. Good, inhale, lifting up. And exhale, pulling back, take a breath in and let it go. Good, step your feet towards the top of your space. From here, you're just gonna take a deep squat, bringing yourself onto your butt, and we're gonna come onto our back, bringing those arms down by your side. So walk those shoulder blades together, get strong through the backs of the arms and the back of the head, the center of each heel. Good. From here, lifting the hips, coming into this bridge shape. Just feel that reset. And slowly lower. Good. From here, take your arms out to a T. Same thing. So the palms are going to be flat and in line with the shoulders. And we're going to lift those hips, pressing through the tops of the shoulders. Just feel that difference. And lower. Good, pressing through the tops of the shoulders, the backs of the arms, lift those hips, and lower. Good, two more, inhale. Notice the difference, and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. So you can stay here, and you can keep practicing with bridge, or you can join me for wheel pose. So we prepped the back with wild thing, finding that shape. And now we're gonna create it with a little bit different entry. So go ahead and plant those palms. And I like to spin my palms out, just look at it in that push-up position. Get the shoulder blades underneath you, really strengthening. So finding bridge first, rolling onto the shoulders and then use those hands just to come up to the crown of your head. If you feel good there, just straighten those arms and spin those fingertips back. Everybody's gonna be in a different place, but the most important thing is to have strong legs, squeezing your glute, and then moving that chest between the arms like we did in the beginning of class. Just pause. And then when you're ready, slowly, safely tucking the chin first, coming out of it. That is a big pose. So roll out those wrists wherever you are, and that takes some practice. I have a gymnastics background, so that's why it looks a little bit more effortless for me to, to go into it, and I've been doing this a long time. Back bends are hard. That's why I don't really teach wheel a lot on my videos, because there can be some risk. So please listen to your body, 
And if you'd like, try it again with me. So again, setting up the feet. You want to stay nice and strong through those legs. The legs are way, 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 way important. And then hands come by the ears. You can make adjustments with the hands once you're up, but you want to give yourself support so that you're able to lift yourself up. Lifting the hips, roll to the crown of the head, and then start to straighten those arms. Pressing through the feet, squeezing those glutes. And just noticing what you feel. And then when you're ready, slowly lowering down. And a lot of stuff can come up. It's normal to feel a little anxious or dizzy or lightheaded after those big heart openers. So just allow yourself to come back into your body. And taking a cactus or goal post through the arms, just dropping those knees to the right, looking left. And then slowly making your way to the other side. And move through that one more time, just looking to the left as your knees drop to the right, getting that full rotation through the spine, letting it all go. And then switching sides. Just noticing the difference in your body, in your breath, in your mind. Good, inhale, coming back to center. Wrap those arms around your shins, forehead to knees, sealing your whole practice. And then find a moment of stillness, whatever that looks like for you. If you want to find Supta Baddha Konasana here, if you need a few more stretches, wherever you are, just breathe. And if you're in stillness, just give your weight to the mat. Let everything just absorb for just a moment. Everything settle. Everything recalibrating, coming back to a nice balanced state. Just breathe. Noticing the space around you. Noticing the space within you. And then when you're ready, pointing those toes, reaching your arms above your head, taking that full body stretch. And pulling your knees into your chest and gently making your way up to a seat where we seal in our movement together. So bringing those hands together in front of your heart, bringing your chin towards your chest, and gently closing the eyes or finding that nice, soft, steady gaze. Just sealing in our practice, as always, honoring ourselves first and foremost for showing up. And bringing those thumbs to your forehead, finding that gratitude for whatever it is we're grateful for today. And in that gratitude, we bow to this practice. Much love. Thank you so much. Great job today. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Thanks so much for joining me in today's session. Remember, if you like today's session, give it that thumbs up. Make sure you're sharing with your friends and family. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. That's also how you support me for free. You can also join my YouTube memberships, which I've just recently launched. You're going to get access to longer classes, more content, one of a kind live streaming from me, workshops, group chats, and much, much more for one low monthly rate. That's how you're going to support me in producing more content for all of you. And I can't wait to see you on the mat soon. Thanks again for moving with me. Ciao.